Good morning, good morning, good morning. Take motherfucking four. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. And we're going back to that horrible world known as the Agape Boarding School, but with first the usual disclaimers. First off, why is this attempt number four? Because YouTube doesn't like me using audios in regards to these videos, in regards to the Agape Boarding School. So, I messed around with it, made sure that we could pull up closed captioning so that you could follow along with the story, and we're going on from there. But first, description box, right? So, in the description box, you're going to see the links thus far to the news reports, news articles, as well as victim statements in regards to the Agape boarding school situation. Please visit them, read them. We also have linked in there the change.org shut Agape boarding school down petition. Please sign and share on all your social media. We also got the pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, which we all know what that's all about, right? I bowing you, Canton, Massachusetts. That is the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center, who has for over 30 years tortured, abused, and traumatized people with disabilities with impunity for going on years. So, we have included in there Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, the templates, and the ever present self explanatory. Shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Folks, when we discuss these schools, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with mental health issues and disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please use your headphones. Also, this is a channel for 18 and above for a reason. We use profanity on this channel. If this offends you in any way, I completely understand. Please push pause on the video now. And please still go ahead and take a look at those links in the description box, alright? Alright, without further ado, this is from my own local news station. And I don't care to dox myself. Come at me. Come at me, bruh. I could use some letting off the steam. This sign? Sign song? All right, so let's see the newest. This is coming out as of August the 23rd, folks, so just a few days ago. So let's give it a listen or a read, if you will, okay? Here we go. Hold up, folks. I gotta fix it again. <sighs> they really, really don't want you to see this. I'm just letting you guys get caught up. They're trying to type as fast as they can. Here we go.
Yeah, so anybody else wondering where the hell Agape School has been if this is the first time they're hearing about it? Let's, let's contemplate this for a minute. This has been going on here since 2019. Our colleges and high schools have gotten involved with fighting these people. There have been news reports. We're talking from the Kansas City Star. We're talking from the Springfield News Leader. We're talking from all the local papers throughout the entirety of the state. It has made literal national news. Literal national news. We have had people literally like Paris Hilton come out to condemn this place. And this is the first time they're hearing of it? I know, I know that I know that I know that living on a ranch out in the middle of nowhere does not mean you do not have access to news reports, Agape Boarding School. Considering you make 3800 a head off of these boys, I know for a fact you, you can at least afford the most basic of the local channels to watch the news at night. I know for a fact even if you are the most rural boarding schools to ever exist, you have access to radios and radio news. You're really going to tell me this is the first time and you're just so shocked and horrified. This is so shocking. I had no idea this was going on for two, over two years. Amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Okay, can I tell you what that's going to look like? I have been in this fight for way too long to not know the route they're going to go, especially being in the Bible Belt. So I'm going to tell you how it's going to go. Number one, they're going to pull the Christian persecution card. One of the oldest cards out here in the Bible Belt. So what does that look like? That's when these people will say that the government and they, they never tell you who they are, by the way. They just, it's just they. Just know that it's they. And they're persecuting them for being Christians and leading a Christian school, okay? They are coming for them. We don't know who they is. I have literally yet to find out. I have lived here almost 40 years. They're going to pull that card. They're going to pull, you're just making these up because there's none of that part's coming. I'm just sitting here waiting for it. I've seen it ad nauseum. They're going to play a second card. One that we're all very familiar with who have been fighting the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center for years and years on end ad nauseum. They're going to take these boys and they're going to vilify them. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at the JRC, right? What do they do? Well, it's very simple. They vilify them. They will use absolute worst case scenarios in order to sell you a narrative. That these boys were a danger to themselves and to other people. Perpetuated violence against their parents, their siblings, and the little tiny fluffy bunny. And why do they try to sell you this narrative? If you can turn a person into a villain. If you can get someone to follow along with that narrative. They then go from being a human being to you to almost a two-dimensional Disney villain that needs to be taken down regardless of the cost. If they can get you to do that, 
in spite of whatever the evidence against them may be, then they have a shot. I've seen it happen, folks. It goes beyond victim blaming. It's also, it's turning victim blaming and curving it even that much further into turning the victim of inhumane, cruel acts into a fairy tale monster. Almost so that you believe they deserved it. You see what I mean? It's a means to dehumanize the enemy so that what is done to them in comparison will seem justified. It never does. Nor does this defense ever truly work with anybody with a halfway decent heart and two brain cells to rub together. But that's what places like Agape, like Circle of Hope, and like Judge Rotenberg Educational Center, like Convo, the place that Paris Hilton went, that's what they do. They've created an entire industry off of it, and now they're going to use it to bury anyone who challenges their insanity. So I want you to be prepared for it, because it's coming. And I want you to be prepared for it because it's all too easy to fall into the trap. These people are not as stupid as they would have you believe. They craft their words very carefully, very cleverly. Vague but threatening terms to describe the opposition. And if you're not careful, or you're not jaded as hell, like I am at this point, you're susceptible to fall into it. And on that note, let's go ahead and carry on, shall we? like the GRC. And one of the ways that they do this focus is conservatorships. I would be very interested. I have no proof. And nobody who has spoken to me that's been a victim of this place has said that conservatorship has had anything to do with it. It's just the JRC has jaded me to the goddamn point that I think everybody engages in the exact same shit that they do when I see stuff like this. I don't know. <sighs> but I'd be interested in finding out. And just like the JRC, they censor what information goes out about them from their students while they have the students under their control. There's no way these kids ha are able to reach out through help. Not through letters, not through phone calls, not through nothing. You see the situation that these kids are in. It's like the JRC where even the phone calls are monitored. It's the exact same thing. And it tells the same story. Whether it's Christian themed or not, it's the same thing. These places are what remains of the dinosaurs. They should have been closed down alongside their institutional brothers and sisters a long goddamn time ago. What people don't realize is where this whole troubled teen industry 
and troubled disabled people industry came out of, where their entire narrative comes out of, is the same damn institutions that were closed down years ago. These places, Agape Boarding School, Palm Vo, Judge Rotenberg Educational Center, these are the distract descendants of the institutions. It is the institutions slightly modified so that they might seem more palatable to the public, but are still committing the exact same atrocities and crimes as the more recognizable institutions did years and years ago. And they're doing it with the same level of impunity. We need to hold them in account, shut them down, and stop making mental health issues and disabled issues so goddamn taboo that people won't be, that people refuse to get these teens the real, actual help they actually need. And I will die on that hill. And I'm going to go ahead and close out on this one, folks. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. And the few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. Now, before we finish out, let me go through the less rest of this closed captioning. Okay, so there we go, folks. And I do appreciate your time. As always, we hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.